Well, we had a cool foggy morning, but the sun is out and it's really a beautiful afternoon out there. Let's take a look at live early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning clear. No issues with any showers out there for today. That's some good news. The weekend we are going to bring in some more clouds and perhaps a little bit of shower activity. We'll talk about that coming up, but let's enjoy today. Here's our normals, our normal low 45. We got pretty close to that this morning. Our normal high is 67 and we are going to be above that this afternoon. 91 is the record. Not going to get quite that warm. That was set back in 1963, our record low, 26. Uh, you can see we're already warming up nicely out there. In Kent, we're still in the 60s, 66, but Wallingford at 71, Durham 70, Norwich at 74 degrees. So we're already running above normal at this noon hour. And our neighbors around also warming up, 68 in Boston, 73 in New York City, Scranton, Pennsylvania, 72, Cleveland, 78 degrees. So definitely feeling a little bit more like summer out there in some spots. And winds have been fairly light and variable, even calm, and that's why it had a hard time kind of getting rid of that fog this morning. It took a little bit uh, longer in the Connecticut River Valley, but now we're looking fantastic in New Haven, 72 degrees, lots of sunshine there with some fair weather clouds, winds out of the west. Oh, plane taken off, always love to see that live. And this is sort of the last remnants here of some of those low cloudiness and fog that was socked in along the Windsor Locks area, 61 degrees. Winds right now are out of the east northeast at five, and and just fantastic along the sound this morning or this afternoon, I should say. Live looking old Saybrook looking fantastic with mostly sunny skies. Not a whole lot going on on our satellite and radar picture. We have high pressure and control today and that will continue throughout tomorrow too with plenty of sunshine. We have a little bit more cloudiness off to our west and even some clouds and showers uh, further off to the west, but nothing that's going to impact our weather through the day today or the day tomorrow. Now for the weekend, our winds are going to be shifting more out of the easterly direction. That's going to bring in some more clouds, maybe even a little bit of drizzle on Saturday. Now this is our European model. Keeps us mostly dry Saturday, but notice what happens on Sunday. It does bring some rain in. This is one scenario. Uh, this is the other scenario, and this is the one we may be going with for now. Uh, this you can see our G GFS model, and it keeps clouds around through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but it keeps the rain down to our south. So this is the scenario we're going with for now, keeping it dry for Sunday, but there is that possibility that we may have a little bit of shower activity. We'll hopefully fine tune that for you on the evening news tonight. In the meantime, the rest of today, no shower activity at all. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures topping out between about 70 and 75 today and then dropping down into the 60s after sunset. And then your forecast lows overnight tonight, upper 40s and lower 50s. We are going to be dealing with that fog situation again, which will probably take a few hours to completely burn off tomorrow morning. So just be prepared for that. Some reduced visibility early tomorrow. And then the rest of tomorrow looks fantastic. The upcoming weekend will feature more clouds, maybe a little drizzle at times, but for now we're keeping it mainly dry with temperatures in the 60s. Then Monday and Tuesday we're back up in the 70s again. And there could be a few showers around on Wednesday. All right, sounds good, Melissa. Now